So, right, what we're going to do today is look at some handling skills. So, how are we going to be able to hold on to that precious ball that we need to be able to score drives? So, we're going to start off. You can use any ball, any shape. Okay, I have rugby balls, so you could use a small rugby ball, big rugby ball, or even if you have some, potentially some tennis balls. Okay, so we're going to start off with just having a feel of the ball. So we want to make sure that when we're holding on to the ball, we're not slapping it with our palms, but we're using our fingertips, okay? So it's really trying to hold on to that ball with the fingertips. So what we're going to start off with is just having a feel of the ball, okay? So what does the ball feel like? Get used to the ball and just try and hold on to it like that. So we're just going to do a little pass side to side, try and hold on to that ball. We'll go for about 10, let the ball rotate, try and stand up as well. See if you can go faster. Just passing it side to side, hand to hand. Getting that feel. We don't want to be hearing the ball slapping. It's really light and delicate. So once we've done a fair amount of these, we can then move on and make it a tad hard for ourselves. So we've done side to side. Now we're going to go round the back. So we're just trying to make sure we can go round the back. We can start off slow just passing from one hand to another, in and out, just like that, just as shown. And then we can go faster and go the other way, really making sure how many can we do without dropping it. Can we hold on to it for a minute? Can we go faster? And obviously the faster we go, the less we have to maybe hold on to it. We don't have to grip onto it as much. We can just have it flicking through our hands and close to even just passing it behind our backs so we can do this in front we can try and do behind perfect so now what I'd like you to do is go about shoulder width apart with your feet and we're going to do a little around one leg we'll try and get 10 make sure we can go both ways once we've done that okay we can go around the other leg The better that's it we get, the faster we can go. Try and make sure that we're not slapping. Okay, we don't want to over-egg it too quickly and try and get too fast if we're then just doing that, okay? Make sure that we've got control of the ball at all times, okay? Then we can go into a figure of eight, okay? So just going round, figure of eight. And once we've got that way, we can go from behind. So the ball's coming in from behind or going in from the front. Once you feel fairly confident that you could do, I don't know, 30 seconds of that, then you can move on to the next one. So we're going to start with our legs together. We're just going to go round the bottom of our legs. We can go both ways, trying to make sure that we're holding on to that ball, we're not dropping it hold on to a precious ball okay from there what we can do is we're going round and side round once step back through the leg step forwards step back with the other one and go around like that okay so we, from the front it looks like this step back forward step back forward step back forward Ooh, close, okay? So making sure we're holding on to that ball and not, if we're getting too fast and we're starting to lose control, then to make sure we slow it down and ensure that we're really holding that ball as firmly as possible with our fingertips, remember, with our fingertips. So once you feel pretty confident with that, we can then move on and progress that to being uh, changing up the activity. So we all like to be able to spin past the ball, so, what we want to have is to have the ball, have our hand uh, just about at the bottom of the ball, not underneath it like this, but on the side at the bottom, okay? And we're going to go from here, and we're just going to try and roll it, so just brush that hand over and catch it in the other hand, and we'll do the same with the other hand, and then we'll go back and forth. Obviously, the faster you spin it, the cooler it looks, but obviously the harder it may become. 
So even if you just start and try and roll it like this with only a quarter rotation or so, you can then move on to get a, a faster spin on it and really trying to do all angles. If you feel you're quite confident at that, you can then start playing with it and having the ball going from different directions, maybe flipping it forwards, backwards, and then still try and maintain that spin at various times. So once you've done that and you think you're fairly confident with doing this, and you could do 10 consecutive ones from each hand without dropping the ball, we're then gonna work on maybe getting that spin. So we're just gonna chuck the ball in the air from the hip, it's gonna go in the air. But as we push the ball up, we wanna rotate our hand. Let's say it's facing, palms facing the front, to then palms facing outside. So it's going up like that, it, up like that. So we're holding the ball and we're just going up. And then we catch, holding the ball from the hip, extending the arm, and it should just go up. Try and get it nice and straight up. Okay, nice and straight up. Our balls are going slightly side to side. You can do the same with your left hand. Try and get as high as you can. Try and go from there, straight up. Try and get it straight up. The straighter you can go, the better. And same with both hands. So the straighter you can throw it, the better. Because I'm catching over here, that's no good. We want to be catching it in that same axis. Okay, so once you can do 10 on each hand, uh, I would suggest you can then move on to the next exercise. So the next one is going to be using two hands. So the hand that's doing the spin will be the hand that's at the bottom, okay? So not underneath, but kind of low and on the side. And the other hand, kind of the opposite side of the ball and opposite side uh, end of the ball as well, okay? Going from here, as we're spinning, we're rotating. Remember, it's from this side, it's rotating that way and from the other side it's rotating the other way okay that way or that way so we're just going to go from this angle up making sure we're not catching it like this but with our fingertips up catching it and we go the same from this side up oh and catching it up and catching it perfect so try and do 10 uh, on each side once you've caught them then you can move on to the next exercise next exercise we're going to do is just try holding on to the ball so you might need a smaller ball so in my case this is the smallest ball I've got okay and I'm just going to practice getting that grip holding on to the ball okay if you feel like your hands might be too small then you might want to get a different ball or it's good to practice your finger grip and holding on to that ball okay once you then mastered the smaller ball you can then move on to the bigger ball and it might be slightly harder because depending on the grip so this ball is slightly harder because it's a bit soft uh, so you might need a newer ball for that anyway moving on from that once you feel like you can do it maybe five consecutive ones or see how many you can do then you can start working on some passing okay um, for passing, what we'll start off with is key points, okay? We want to make sure that our hands are in a kind of W shape, but then we're just going to slightly shift them depending on what side of the body we're working. So if we're working from the right-hand side, so the ball starting at the right-hand hip, then our ball, our right hand is going to be slightly lower, our left hand slightly higher, okay? But still trying to maintain that kind of W shape. So it would look something like this on the ball, and from the hip, it looks something like this. Okay, from there, we wanna make sure is that we're not coming round with the arms. Okay, our arms, when we're passing, are not going round. We're going from the hip, and you're extending straight across the body. Okay, so the rotation is at the hips, but it's extending your arms. You're just extending your arms. So without a ball, it looks something like this. You're extending here and there. So if your hand, left hand, let's say, was there, and you were only using your right hand to pass, you're extending there to clap and do kind of a high five over here. So you're extending and doing that clap, okay? So with rugby ball, it look like this. It look like this. Now for this exercise, you're gonna need an area. 
that is free space or if there's someone that can do it with you that's even better just going from here and you're releasing you're going from here and you're releasing if you don't have a rugby ball you might have a smaller rugby ball going from here same thing and releasing and then if in doubt you could always use the tennis ball and the tennis ball will be able to do something similar you're going from here trying to use your fingertips trying to have maybe that one hand in front one hand behind going from here and extending going from here and extending okay perfect and once you've mastered that you can then move on to one of the challenges that has been set uh, all the best and try and make sure you're focusing on that technique <laughs>